This is Sara. Sara's 11, and until now, she's lived a normal and happy life. Her family, friends and community have always looked out for her, kept her best interests at heart and made sure she was always safe. But one day, war breaks out. The safe world that Sara once knew is replaced by uncertainty and danger. Forced to flee her home, Sara becomes separated from her family, leaving her extremely distressed and unable to access the basic services she needs to survive. The physical environment around Sara puts her in constant danger of injury. Sara is also at high risk of abuse, violence and exploitation. All children subject to distressing situations such as conflict, persecution or lack of economic opportunity are at risk of potentially exploitative experiences. This is regardless of whether or not they've become separated from their community. Children in such situations are at risk of working on the street, child trafficking and sexual exploitation. Child protection is truly life-saving. It's the prevention and response to the abuse, violence and exploitation children like Sara face in an emergency. Humanitarian agencies work to protect vulnerable children in crises where the state is unable to. As humanitarian agencies helping children, it is critical that we understand these dangers and realise that sometimes our good intentions may not be in the best interests of the child. It's vital that their best interests are at the heart of everything you do while working in the field. We can all agree that the last thing we want to do is cause a child more distress than they have already experienced. Before you respond in an emergency, 1. Familiarise yourself with key policies, such as minimum standards for child protection in humanitarian action. 2. Attend relevant training. 3. Identify who the qualified and experienced child protection experts are. Be wary of unregulated and self-appointed individuals. Remember that humanitarian principles need to be followed and respected at all times. Strive to comply with the following principles when dispensing aid. Sphere minimum standards, code of conduct and do no harm. Visit here to learn more.